In this example, we have been asked to compute several different logs using a graphing calculator. We have also been asked to round to the nearest thousandth if necessary. The first one, we have log of this rather large number. So first thing, the log button is just to the left of your 7, and we see this one is an LOG, so that's the correct button to use. So we're going to do log, and then what will normally happen is here, it will open a parenthesis for me, and then I'm going to type in the value that I have here. So we have 6, 4, 5, 7, 8, 8, and then what I must do is close off the parenthesis, and then press enter. So this one I can see would be 5.81, and then it wants me to round to the nearest thousandth, so it would be one zero. Okay, I'm going to do the next one to the right, the log of that very small number here. So LOG 0 0.000. .000 three, nine, and then close off your parentheses. Press enter. This one is negative 3.62, and then because they want us to round it to near thousandth, this would become a two. Okay, I need to move my calculator so I can see my next problem. Next one over is log of negative three. So if I do log, Use the negative button below the 3, and then the 3, close the parentheses, and press enter. Okay, this one gives us an error. It says you have a non-real answer. If you will remember, when we defined a log, we said that the argument of the log must always be greater than 0, and also, I'm sorry, that's the wrong notation here. We said that whatever you're taking the log of, the value on the inside, that must be a positive value. So must be positive. Okay, so we cannot take logs of negative numbers. So just say here, um, not a real number. All right, next one that we have, we have natural log of 53. Okay, now uh, to get out of here, you can just press second quit. Okay, the natural log of 53, natural log button is just a little to the left and above the four. LN, and this is 53. Close your parentheses. Okay, this one we can see we get 3.5. 9, 7, and then that's 0 if we round to the nearest thousandth. Next one over is natural log of E. So if we do natural log, and then the E button is second divide, and then we close that parentheses, we already know what this value is. If we think about it, we've done this before. Press enter, and we get 1. Remember here the understood base on the natural log is E, and so if the base matches the base of my argument, and there's no power on that argument, it's equal to 1, because the understood power is 1. All right, and then the last one, let me move over so we can see this one. This is also one that we actually know, but let's do it on the calculator. Natural log of 1. Okay, before we press enter, let's think about this one. This one, understood base is E e to what power would give us 1? Press enter, power 0. We already knew that one, so actually on this particular example we don't need the calculator for these last two, but we see that our calculator will always give us the correct answer for that. The one up here, you haven't run into anything like that yet because it's something that you actually can't take the log of, but it is important that you know you can't take logs of negative numbers.